Hi guys, hola mi familia de YouTube, it's Soy. How are you guys doing? I miss you guys so much. I know it's been months. I have not uploaded a video. I've been doing a lot of different things and going through a lot of different things, which I'll update you guys and tell you about in my video. But I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know about the two things that's coming up. So Monday, as you guys know, most of my followers know that I live in New York. Um, city so you know that this Monday coming up is the uh, West Indian Day Parade Eastern Parkway Labor Day Caribbean Parade that's located on Eastern Parkway in Brooklyn and but I wanted to let you guys know about this year's Panamanian Day Parade so the Panamanian Day Parade this year falls on and I'm gonna give you all the information so the Panamanian Day Parade um hold on I'm going to tell you How's everybody doing? I hope as fine as me. So it's on October 7th. I know the exact day, but I just want to make sure that I give you guys all the information. So this year's Panamanian Day Parade is on Saturday, October 7th. And what I love about it is that it always falls on my birthday weekend. Well, the week of my birthday because my birthday is always is October 9th. So it's like Columbus Day time. So, um, and my birthday literally falls on Columbus Day this year. I remember when I was little in school, I used to love the fact that, like, when my birthday will fall on Columbus Day because there's no school. This year, it's like, uh, whatever. You know, it's a Monday. So, anyway, it's Saturday, October 7th, and, um... It is the 28th annual Panamanian Day Parade, the 20th anniversary of the parade. And um, let me just make sure I give you the right information. If you want any information about the parade in general, you could go to PanamanianParade.org and you'll get all the information about the parade. The Panamanian Parade starts at 10.30 a.m. And it is until 6 o'clock p.m. The parade starts at Bergen Street. This is in Brooklyn, guys. And Franklin Avenue. Bergen Street and Franklin Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. And it ends in a street fair on Classen Avenue. This is what they usually do every year. There's a street fair. It's on Classen Avenue. They usually have the stage right there. And a lot of people just come out i would advise you that if you're coming to bring a fold-up chair sometimes there's chairs out there but bring a fold-up chair if you don't want to stand or whatever and you want to be able to put your chair on the side in the park right there um which is usually i'm walking or standing up or something but i always have a chair but um yeah bring a fold-up chair if you want to be able to see any concerts or shows or you know anything that's going on um um, anyway, yeah, so the street fair is on Classen Avenue between President Street and Eastern Parkway. Okay, guys, so um, everything's been fine. I'm going to be coming to you guys with a couple of new videos. I want to update you about um, a couple of things I'm doing um, besides like um, Afro-Latino culture and things like that, which is a lot of what I talk about on my channel and DNA and my ancestry DNA results. Um, I've gotten together with a couple of YouTubers and vloggers like of other nationalities because I thought it would be fun to like implement and bring up things like um, Haiti and other parts of the Caribbean or the West Indies as well and get their view on things that they go through because a lot of my subscribers and people that might see me in the street, they bring up these conversations to me like, hey, you know, I've watched your videos and you talk about, you know, being pan Panamanian or you know being you know black and speaking Spanish you know and being discriminated against lighter Hispanic by lighter or quote-unquote white looking or Hispanics that feel like they claim the language or whatever and don't get me wrong I wanted to also address this too because I address it sometimes individually in the comments I I am not saying that I'm not taking away my blackness at all it's there. Obviously, you can see it, you know. I'm not taking away my blackness. If you understand it, you'll understand the blackness is the color. It's the color, the ethnicity, the Afro-ethnicity. But what I'm saying when I do make these videos is the fact that people, certain people, act like, you know, and it's usually the people, and you know who I'm talking about, they act like if the language only belongs to them. But if we were all in another country, like in our country, just like let's say I was in Panama right now, 
we all are going to be speaking Spanish, you know what I mean? So when they come to the U.S. and they just look, they just assume that if someone looks like me that you're going to speak English, which is kind of weird because you could look like me and speak Swahili or you could speak a Greek Creole or Patois, whatever, you know, any language. So um, I guess it all depends on the area and where you're from, whatever. Um, anyway, so that's what I wanted to just come to you guys with and tell you about this year's Panamanian Day Parade. And I hope to see you guys there. I will definitely be there. I'm actually compiling and getting together my outfit right now, which is going to be like an homage, uh, homage to, um, my dad, um, uh, Franklin Graves and my uncle Francisco Graves and my other uncle Jaime Graves and their contribution to the Panamanian culture. Those Panamanians that know of um, Nesia de Mi Corazon, which the song was written by my dad Franklin Graves and my uncle sung the song and my other uncle, they all contributed. So a lot of people that are from Rainbow City and you know, they know and Colón, things like that and just Panama in general, the song was very popular. So I'm going to try to put together some type of outfit, which is gonna, which is actually being made for me right now, to uh, kind of pay homage to the work that they put towards the Panamanian culture. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep this video short, guys. I just wanted to get to you guys to say hi. I miss you guys so much. Um, I think I discussed before that I'm thinking about changing my channel name again. Uh, well, not again, really, but I just shortened it to Soy Sweet 99. But I'm thinking of, I'm used to Soy Sweet 99, but I'm thinking of changing it to Soy Dulce. Which also, which means sweet too. Um, but um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. I'm not sure yet, but um, you guys let me know what you think. And hi everyone and goodbye and thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and have a blessed day. And see you guys, if you guys are going to be uh, at Labor Day Eastern Parkway on Monday, feel free to shout out and come over and say hi to me. I should be there on Franklin Avenue. And um, if you're going to the Panamanian Parade and you have any questions, comment below or send me a message. My email address is in uh, my profile. Thank you, guys. Bye.